so rarely you may notice that your idle control valve is not actually working uh, it's just because of this screw setting um, this gap is actually control the gap setting so how you will um, adjust the gap setting of the idle control valve just remove the two screws and uh, remove these uh, steel uh, uh, plates Now after removing the magnet part, uh, inspect the bearing inside. Sometimes uh, it's uh, uh, hard and uh, does not move, so grease, uh, oil it uh, firmly and check whether it's uh, not sticky. It's very important and uh, check the uh, magnet part also if there is any rust, so clean it with WD-40 or um, anti-rust uh, uh, liquid. So. Uh, after oiling and cleaning, um, reassemble it and uh, adjust the gap. So uh, be very careful when you are adjusting the gap, uh, the wall must be slightly closed. There must not be a gap uh, in the small uh, hole um, as in the picture you see, can see. Uh, remember one thing that uh, it's a rare phenomena, um, um, but it happens uh, due to uh, some wear and tear or someone may open it for the maintenance or disassemble it. So uh, adjust the gap and uh, refit it and check whether your uh, engine RPM is now normal after the uh, normal engine temperature it must be reduced. If the engine RPM is still high so adjust it again um, uh, slightly uh, uh, close it uh, so that it may adjust itself according to the CPU voltage. We will make the pin out of, uh, video of the um, idle control valve and we will tell you that which pin um, uh, uh, has how much voltage so in the next video i will tell you that how you will check the sensor resistance and uh, the voltage so thank you very much for watching uh, subscribe please